Let's look at the Pearl Octave in a little bit more detail. I've had this one for about 20 years, I think. I bought it for 20 British pounds, or less maybe, second hand, but I've been using it for a long time. Uh, my next Blurry is a clean sound. Haha. <laughs> Can we do that one again? No, we're running. <laughs> So cleanish, you know, who uses a clean sound nowadays. Uh, <clears throat> now here's the one octave down on the pearl. It's a nice modulation action there on it. It's modulating a bit analog because it's not polyphonic. Here we're going two octaves down, if the mic will pick it up on my little mobile. Not bad. And what I like the most about this one is the upper octave. Now if we put everything on together... Too. So we get quite a the single note lines is great for chords of course because it's not polyphonic you'll get a little bit of sort of crosstalk distortion with it. Which is not a bad thing of course. Uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to boost it with an overdrive. I'm using a Dynelectro TOD. Quite effective. And I'm just going to use the upper octave, so I'm taking away the original signal as well. We've got four knobs on the pearl. I've just got the upper octave turned right the way up. The key there is to use it between two drives. I'll be using a TOD as a booster and then my amps drive as well. Now, flick to the floors. I'm trying to get some sort of monster <clears throat> synth sounds here we're using it. Just added a bit of delay there. The other two octaves back up and the normal. Quite a funky synth sound that just makes you want to play pentatonics.